I have reviewed the Rap Power Type C charger last time, 45 volts, and today I got a 60 watts version. Let's check it out. Well, this one is actually smaller than my previously bought 45 volts version. And the difference is, is this one takes a micro USB input as well as a uh, power delivery port type C input. And the new one is the input, I, I guess it's only a one type C and came with around maybe 75% charged. Yeah. Pretty cool. Let's see. Um, 60 watts, two port, 20,000 milliamps, 72.6 watt hours battery capacity that makes it about um 80 percent efficient i guess well, i like the design of this thing but the the old one probably allows for pass through charging which means i can hook this up to a to a solar panel that um just can do a micro USB charging while I'm using the type C to uh, charge my MacBook Pro. And this one, yeah, let's see. Um, I will do some charging test with my MacBook Pro while I drain the battery down to under 10%. And it came with a uh, type C cable type c two type c cable well let me grab my trusted wrap power charger i guess i should do this Charging speed is important, right? So let's test. By the way, I bought this um, GAN charger separately on Amazon. Uh, let's see, now it's charging and the power output can be measured here on my kilowatt device at 31.6 and it is around 75%. So I'll just let it um, fully recharge. Then I'll round down my MacBook Pro and have this thing uh, charge my MacBook Pro from maybe 0% I hope and see how much uh, juice it can deliver. Now still charging and by the way, that is my MacBook Pro, uh, Mini on my custom uh, hardwood stand and using a 15.6 um, inch monitor hooked up with the, it's providing power from that type C uh, to USB-A from the back of Mac Mini and this is uh, HDMI and Type-C. And I think I should be able to power this monitor with, with my uh, new power bank here. Let's see. This should work. Yes, and it does work. So the whole computer setup in my review station right here uh, can be powered with my new battery I mean the monitor alone 
I wish I can do this with this guy here, but uh, it's impossible. It takes one AC power input. I have ran my battery down to 1% and now it's charging right now at 43 watts. Wow, this is a big improvement over the previous generation. The power bank is fully charged with full four bars. And let's see, uh, wait for a while, let's see what the uh, peak voltage is. I do not recommend that we um, discharge our any kind of battery down to 1%. It's very harmful to the battery. And just for uh, demonstration purposes, let's see how much juice we can put back to the, to the MacBook Pro 13 inch. Well, let's do that fairly quickly. It's at 4% now. It will probably max out at around 44 watts, I guess. I got some work to do. So my laptop has been plugged into my dock and the dock is connected to the battery. So I'm testing uh, the recharging process while I'm doing my work. Uh, it's probably not the most accurate way, but so this dock, about the, about the dock, wall-mounted hardwood. Uh, I made this dock. Uh, there's another whole video about it on my YouTube channel. The battery has been depleted and it managed to put in 78% to my MacBook Pro 13 inch. I was doing my work most of the time and the computer was under normal load. If the computer is shut down, I think the power bank should be able to put in back 100%. But realistically, in real world, when I'm charging on the go, this is probably what's going to happen. You're not going to get it uh, exactly 100%. Pass-through charging is not possible as the same type C port is used as a charging port to recharge the battery itself. So the next video will be about the previous generation that allows pass-through charging using a micro USB port. I'm gonna show that in the following video. I wanna make a quick video about the solar pass-through charging using the Rap Power's 21, 21 watt solar panel paired with its um, 20,000 milliamps type C charger. Right here is taking the juice from the dual port, I'm just using one port, charging through its micro USB, then there is a type C that goes to the MacBook Pro here. As you can see, um, well, it's doing 34.22 watts here, and it's adding juice pretty quickly. 44% right now and sun is that direction kind of cloudy sometimes but hopefully this thing is helping top off this battery here it's a reasonably portable battery power bank here And let's see, the it's at tw about 50%, two bars. Forty-five. Yeah, my design capacity 
uh, is this much and it dropped a little bit almost 10% over years it got a little bit of warm here um, heating up so I took the pouch off and honestly, I think this panel is providing maybe 5 volts to the battery. And the battery is outputting at least, wow, 35.77 volts right now. Of course, it's not going to be enough to keep the laptop going. And of course, it's very portable as I can fold it when I'm traveling, but in order to keep this going all day long, uh, a larger power panel, a uh, solar panel is definitely needed. And it's at 47% right now. Yeah, it's a pretty cool solution though.